Hello all you LEGO loving friends out there. Uh, it's Josh and welcome back to another episode of LEGO Logical. And thanks for stopping by and um, here today we have a super special set review. This is from the Avengers Age of Ultron. It's Marvel set and it's the Hulkbuster Smash. Ages 7 to 14 and set number 76031 has all the good figs you want. 248 pieces but it doesn't cost a bit more because it's licensed. Marvel, of course, and it has the Hulk, which is a big fig. So, um, let me unwrap it, do a time lapse, and then after that, you will have the minifigures and the set review itself. Well, that was your time lapse, and here is the completed model. So you can see the size comparison of the uh, figures here, and the Hulk right there. Hulkbuster is way way taller than the Hulk, and I think it easily destroys the Hulk. But let me show you first what this set includes. It has this nice little comic thing of Ultron taking over the world. Yay! How happy and how glorious! So um, I think I'm gonna read this later. This is gonna be a interesting. It features all the. Uh, sets, I think, uh, yeah, pretty much, and, uh, a list of all the figures that you get, so, that's that, there's also the instruction manual, which I have right behind me right here, yeah, this one is pretty thick, it's one booklet all the way around, so, there you go, and what you have at the back, just showing you the super jumper, and some more sets. So th those are your other sets. I'm not going to show you in detail. Let's just get right into the figures. All right. So I'm going to take away everything and just going to start showing you the figures. To start off the minifigures, we have Scarlet Witch here. So Scarlet Witch is the twin sister of Quicksilver. Later turns into a good guy in the movie. I think. I don't know. No one's seen. No one's seen the movie yet. But I think this figure looks looks very nice. I mean, look at it. <laughs> pretty good for a secondary figure. I mean, it's not even the main deal in the set here. It's not Iron Man, it's not Ultra. But, look, she comes with these translucent turquoise, kind of, um, you get a lot of turquoise in this set. These laser zapping things, because she ha kind of has, like, the force. I don't know how to call it. But, look, she got the, uh, the dress thing, and those, uh, the, the boots printed there. She's got the necklace. All the detail is there. You see, that's the head. Turn it around. She's in frustration and using her full force, using power to uh, contain the Hulk or something. I'm not sure. Not really sure entirely what's going on in this set, but she looks pretty mean and she looks like she's up for a fight. Up next, we have Mr. Ultron Prime. Now, Ultron Prime has... Uh, the same Iron Man thruster things, but I'm not going to add those because he's really floppy when you put them on. But look, it's so dark. It's dark metal gray, and I can only shine the light like that for you to see the detail. But look at that detail. This is the most amazing Marvel figure I've ever seen. Look at the, even the back printing. Even the leg printing, it connects at the belt area. And the head, though, is fantastic. The great thing about this set is that you get all the figures you need. You, I, I don't care about Thor. Captain America, I just want Iron Man, Ultron, and the Hulk. These these are great figures. He's He even has back printing on the head. 
Which, when I was building it, I was like, is this the head or is that the head? Because, look, this looks... <laughs> this looks hilarious. It looks like he's like... He looks like a whale. Never mind. Let me just turn this back around. Sorry to have insulted you, Ultron. You're a fantastic figure, and I truly, truly like how Lego did this figure. This is amazing. And he keeps falling down. But I'm going to show you Iron Man up next, and he's going to take this guy down. The great thing about Iron Man is that it, there's a new suit of armor in every Marvel movie that he appears in. Let's take away the thrusters, and I'll show you what he comes with this time. Not only the Mark 43 suit, a super jumper piece. This super jumper is clear, clear plastic, but it's also it, it can it's bendable. So what you do is you put Iron Man there. I'll just show you this feature. You press it down, and then off he goes. He goes flying into the back of the setup. But um, I do not really like the super jumper since it's just another like oh, it's it also removes Iron Man's. Why is it so tough to take apart? This is this is really interesting. But uh, the super jumper, yeah, it just got stuck. I do not know why. Could be the tension, but I do not think this is a really good play feature. One, kids have trouble taking it apart like I am right now. Urgh! Come on. It's not working. Ah, there we go. Oh, God. Anyways, I'll just show you this. Uh, darn it. I don't want you, Super Jumper. See? It just made me hate it that much more. You have his Tony Stark regular face. Nice printing there. Si similar to Ultron style printing. There's his angry face, by the way. I really like how they do all these Iron Man armor, and then look at that. Nice, there's a little bit of printing up there, and there's your Tony Stark. So he's ready to use his super jumper that doesn't work very well. Look, it's just gonna, it's, yeah, see, it's gonna get him at his own game. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the Hulk Buster set. So what would it be like if it didn't have the Hulk? Now I'm gonna show you our final figure, and this is a big fig. The new and improved Hulk with purple pants. I like the Avenger style. This olive green is like that much better because that fake cartoonish green was terrible. And he has smash function. You can go boom, whack. And then his hair is it's nice. I think it's a separate piece. I'm not sure if I can take it apart. Uh, probably not. Looks like it's stuck together. But hey, you can move, remove him. He is the he is my favorite big fig of this year and probably of all time. Look at him, six pack and all. Looks pretty bulky. To me, um, what he can do is throw a tantrum, pick up figures by their feet. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to pick up Scarlet Witch, but uh, I'm not even sure how you fit him in. There we go. Is that how you do it? I'm not sure, but anyways. Ah, there we go. Yeah. He goes mad and picks up a figure, and he lifts it above his head. He's like, glory! And then, um... His other, his other hand is the same, but I'll just show you the other function of the hand using Scarlet Witch uh, translucent thing. So you can clip onto these uh, minifigure clamps because it has one of those. So you can give Hulk some, um, you know, some drumsticks, chicken drumsticks. He he's hungry sometimes, but um, boom, there we go. He is a fantastic big figure. Absolutely love this set. This is the perfect Avenger set. Probably the only one I'm gonna get too. So without further ado, let's go check out the uh, builds themselves. Here we have the Hulk containment unit. I'm not sure what this is, and I'm not sure what it's doing here. But as you can see, Hulk is trapped. Well, on this angle, it looks like he can escape pretty easily. But he's trapped. Okay, these flaps keeping him in place. I don't know anything that can keep Hulk in place. That doesn't really seem logical. But from what it looks like, it's like Scarlet Witch is using her powers to fly and to keep this energy to like kind of shock um, Hulk but this is what you do with Iron Man and his super jumper you're supposed to um oh no I'm not gonna put him on the super jumper actually <laughs> you're supposed to take down Scarlet Witch by a uh, hitting hitting the uh, translucent pole she's on see boom and down goes Scarlet Witch so um, that's just held together by a, a flimsy pole there pole connection but not a bad play feature, I just don't like the way the super jumper works. So that is your Hulk containment unit, and time to suit up in the biggest suit of armor Tony Stark has created. Now this is the Hulk Buster. This is the real deal, and it's absolutely fantastic. I love this build. It's one of the best mechs that LEGO has made. And you might be seeing some detail that doesn't belong in the set, because I tend to uh, add some pieces from the spare parts section, and just add it for added detail. But let's open them up and see what's, what you can do inside. 
So you open this up. This has like a double joint here. So you can do that. I think you can reposition him to kind of look a bit better. But his head just fits perfect. I love this piece. Printed piece. Um, yeah. For inside, you just put Iron Man in there. It's it's like that simple. He just stays there, peeps out, and then like in the trailer, it goes like he's suiting up, and then everything's moving in the joints, and then boom, Hulkbuster head comes down. Now there is a nice bit of detail that I like to add here, is this piece. I think this is supposed to be the uh, the the glove Iron Man puts into the Hulkbuster head. That's nice detail. I, I realize that and like oh that's so cute. So um, there you go. Hulkbuster is like flying. His fingers are posable, so you got some bionic elements here, by the way, some Technic. His fingers are posable, pretty nice. Um, I guess you can't have all five, but uh, on this hand, you do get stud shooters. See, shoots out these little pins, kind of like cylinders. Uh, I don't know why they go on there. They shouldn't be there, because um, from what I know, I lost the other one. I'm going to pick it up later. Look, his arc reactors are down here, so he... Blast people with his repulsor. But what are the shooters for? I wonder if they're actually part of the movie. Because judging from what it seems. We haven't seen that in any trailer yet. And I don't think they will show it. I could be wrong. They might have a, like a secret trailer. But look at, the, look at the legs. That is really nice. It's posable. And even if you pose the legs in front. It looks like um, you know how your regular mech would look. It's, it's just it's perfect. That's what I can say. The Hulkbuster done to great accuracy. And even the thrusters back here. These thrusters, they look amazing. Uh, I really can't say anything bad about this set. I'm really glad I got it at the last moment. I could. And uh, let me try to do his... Uh, oh, that fell off again. The pin. Let me try to do his pose that uh, I really like in the uh, Age of Ultron theme. Yeah. That pose, he's kind of like lunging his head towards Ultron, and, uh, you know, Ultron does that. So, that is your side comparison. I don't think Hulk's supposed to be this small. I think they're supposed to be equally sized, but, um, hey, what can I say? It's a good set, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Like button's waiting for you. Hit the subscribe button today to see more of this, and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends who would like this set.